What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be doing a cash shop breakdown. So let's go ahead and talk money. Also make sure you guys check the comment box. I pinned uh, some codes, some promo codes that you guys can enter to get some free stuff in Genshin Impact. You guys can utilize them on the main site. So check them out. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and dive into this. I wanted to talk about the cash shop. I've been getting a lot of questions about the cash shop. So I want to talk about what's worth, what's not worth. I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about the battle pass. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And I want to really just help you guys out, whether you're free to play, pay to win, super pay to win, whether you got tons of money, you're just looking to blow it, whether you have no money and you're looking to maybe budget it, whatever the case may be, I want to give you guys the best information uh, based on my seven years previous experience with Gasha. Uh, and of course, being uh, free to pay to win, <laughs> pay to free to win. <laughs> we came up with this new thing where if you're, if you're spending money, right, you pay to win. But as long as you you stop spending money in between, you can technically still claim free to play. No, all right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's let's get into these packs. So first and foremost, uh, the recommended pack is the Blessing of the Welkin Moon. And I'll just tell you, let me explain to you guys how this works. This is absolutely worth it. Regardless, it's probably the best thing in the shop right now. Period. Um, with this pack, how this works is when you buy it. You get 300 Genesis Crystals up front, which is a premium currency, and 30 days of blessing. So with this blessing, you receive 90 Primo Gems every day, period. So you could buy this pack up to six times, right? Up to a total of 180 days, but you can't expend more than that. Now, I need you guys to understand that just because you buy this six times doesn't mean that it goes up to 180 Crystals a day or, you know, 270 Crystals a day. It just extends the amount of time that you get the 90 Crystals per day. So basically for five bucks, you get 300 plus a total of 2,700 crystals or whatever, right? Uh, yeah, 2,700 crystals, right? 90 a day, 90 times 30, 20, yeah, 2,700 crystals for five dollars. Literally the best deal in the shop right now, hands down. You, you cannot get any better than this. This is literally the best deal. This is like, even if you're free to play, I would like get this and then just not tell your friends or anybody that you actually spent money because then they would just call you pay to win. So you just keep buy this and keep this to yourself. Don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> now, as we get into the gift shop, guys, uh, obviously, Blessing of the Walking Mood is good. Uh, so what I understand about these bundles is they're supposed to rotate and let these bundles rotate because these are just not even worth, not even a little bit, okay? Because the reality is, is if you're getting the battle pass, like the battle pass for like 10 bucks or, and or free, if you guys choose to just leave your free, is better than these, period. Like, so why even spend, like, I, listen, they needed to, they need to come harder with this, and I feel like part of me is going to regret saying this, but I feel like they need to definitely come harder than this, than these packs, because these, these two are not it, alright, so hopefully these are just the warm-up packs, and the ones that come after are better but in terms of value like these just aren't it i would probably stick with just the blessing for now uh just for the month of uh september uh, you know and if these rotate out for october we'll see but yeah definitely the blessing these two are really really questionable uh, now this next thing guys this is just the breakdown and we're going to go through each of these so star glitter exchange is basically the more premium version of stardust exchange so with Star Glitter Exchange, this is what I recommend. Since these heroes are on rotation and these weapons are on rotation, for those of you guys who are going to be buying the Battle Pass for the weapon, I think that there's a possibility that the weapon that you need for the Battle Pass, you know, for the refinement, and basically what refinement is is you just take a duplicate of the weapon and you feed it, basically. But I think that you guys will probably be looking for that here. So for five stars, guys, you get 15 star glitter, if I remember correctly, if you get the five star weapon. And then for right, right, whenever you pull like a regular weapon or whatever, then you just get the star glitter. And then of course, for duplicate heroes, you also get star glitter as well. So star glitter is a premium. Like, listen guys, even though they sell these more advanced materials in here, uh, by the time you guys get to AR-35, you guys will probably have plenty of these and you pretty much can just farm these. Uh, normally, if I said you could buy, if this was like in the Stardust shop, I would say pick these up. But since they're the Star Glitter, like I would, I honestly wouldn't waste Star Glitter on these, especially since these weapons rotate and the heroes rotate, because you could probably get these instead. Now, if you have the entire shop bought out and you have nothing else to buy, or you don't want to buy summons because the summons aren't capped here, you can buy as many summons as you want here. Then go for it. Uh, but otherwise, I would say to stick to these top, like these top ones, no matter what, uh, no, no, no matter what classification of player you are, whether you're free to play, pay to win, you know, whatever the case may be. But I think these are the most value in the Star Glitter shop for now now in terms of stardust that changes things because everything in here is so damn cheap and you get stardust like so easily 
Like, you get so much Stardust just from summoning, whether you're free-to-play or not, that if you guys need a material out of here, I would definitely get it. Definitely get it, hands down. I would buy the summons, because out of here, you can only buy the summons five times a month, right? Uh, where, where are the summons at? Um, five times, five times, five times, five times. So, yeah, you can only buy these five times a month, and they're currently discounted, but I definitely pick these up if you get the opportunity, right? More summons for everybody. And then, of course, uh, you can buy Mora as much as you want. Um, so, if you guys need Mora, this is another way that you guys can get some cash, uh, which can definitely offset your need if you guys are short on the funds, all right? So, that's, that's going to be the thing there. So, just make sure you guys kind of pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, so you can buy 30 of these and then the other one unlocks. This is pretty good. Star Glitter is, or Stardust, excuse me, you can spend however, any kind of way you want. Just because, like I said, it's so easy to come by Star Glitter, however, it's not the case. So just make sure that you guys get the biggest bang for your buck on this one. Now, in terms of the Crystal Top Up, uh, how this works is for your first bonus of each tier, you get double. Right, you get double the bonus. All right, I don't even know how these left, but it used to say double. I don't know what happened, they just disappeared. I don't even know. But listen, you get double these, and then after your initial buy, the 6480 becomes a bonus of 1600. So you're actually getting 8,000 crystals per, which basically gives you five pulls for you know, puts you about a $20 10 pool, which isn't bad. So I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, how these work is they basically convert into primo gems. So if you have Genesis crystals, you can just convert them into primos and then use your primos to buy you know whatever you need here out of paimon's bargains right so that's how that works so again out of the cash up guys blessing of the welkin moon for sure is the only thing out of like the packs i would definitely buy and then if you guys are curious about the battle pass the battle pass is actually really freaking good and i'm explaining to you guys why so in total, uh, you get a total of nine summons. You get the regular acquaint fates. You also get the intertwined fates for the promotional banners, and you get a ton of materials. In comparison, between the free-to-play pass and the $10 pass, uh, you guys get a total of three times more materials if you guys get the Gnostic Hymn. And what makes the Gnostic Hymn so valuable outside of the four-star weapons that you get is the fact that you get these skill books. Uh, these extra skill books, especially like just because it gets so expensive later on to upgrade your skills once you guys start getting into like level 9 and level 10, um, these skill books really offset the need to spend resin. So if you guys are spending $10 as a free-to-play player and we're not telling anybody, this is going to help you out because you guys are going to need these books. Books. These books uh, are, are used to increase the raw multipliers of your characters, um, which basically influences the amount of damage that your characters deal. So when you guys are looking at these, um, like it's a no-brainer just off the skill books plus the materials alone. Not to mention that literally in every single uh, closed beta test that I've been in, um, most of the time I've only had about two million, maybe three million max. Um, after farming for hundreds of hours, you see what I'm saying? And enchanting my stuff, that's it. This battle pass alone, just for the premium, gives you like two to three million gold just chilling, right? Uh, just going through this. Also, not only that, you get, you know, more advanced books later, which, you know, are really nice. And then, of course, you guys get the weapons, which I'll show you guys here in a second. So, the weapons here are very cool. Like, this one increases damage dealt by normal and charged attacks by 20%. Additionally, regenerates 60% of attack as HP when normal and charged attacks score a critical hit. This basically turns any character you want into who? That's right. Mm-hmm. My waifu. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Turns right into my waifu. Y'all know who my waifu is. Yeah, it's G. All right, just in case you didn't know. Uh, but all of these are good. Uh, you got the two-hand sword. Like, this is just a matter of which one you like the best. Go ahead and pick it. And this is why I said, like, because right now we were talking about this on stream. Like, I don't think all the value is in the weapons because we have currently no way to know how to refine these, right? But that's why I was thinking, like, when we went back to, like, the actual shop itself, that maybe those weapons are going to rotate in the shop. And if you have the opportunity to buy them uh, utilizing, like, your star glitter, I think it's a great opportunity even... Even if you're free to play to just go ahead and get those okay so a big thing here guys is with the shop since the packs rotate you're just going to want to err on the side of caution like in terms of these i would wait till something better comes up before you start to fork over because like in terms of value like these just aren't worth it especially when you just get the damn battle pass blessing of the welkin moon and the battle pass hands down are the stars of the show um in this month's rotation or this this patch's rotation we'll have to wait till 1.1 to see exactly uh um, 
you know what changes and what's up for grabs but i think for 15 bucks like it's a steal uh to get those two and then of course if you guys want to buy the uh crystal top of packs if you haven't bought them already um that's obviously a no-brainer uh from what i understand in honkai impact the other game that they do they either refresh every season or every year i can't remember uh, but we were talking about that on stream so anyway guys uh that's all i wanted to cover today i just wanted to talk money talk to cash out breakdown so if you guys are on the fence you guys want to know what's worth what's not um what's hot what's not you know all that good jazz uh you guys have a general idea or a better idea of what's good right now so with that being said guys uh we'll do another one of these every time the shop updates so i can give you guys an update as they update the shop uh, what i think is worth and what i think uh will definitely help you versus what will just set you back and with that being said we will see you guys in the next video peace